I'm simply telling people everywhere, you're going to die. The evidence is there. He did not come 2,000 years ago to get you into heaven. That's a myth. The purpose of Christ's coming wasn't to prove that, oh, I'm going to conquer sin. I'm going to conquer the death issue. You won't have to be afraid of death any longer. It doesn't have clutches on you any longer. That sounds like preaching. That sounds like how we all got deceived into that kind of thinking. My point is, we've got to leave this kind of theology. I mean, it's pitiful, isn't it? When you go back and study the ancients, it wasn't the Jews first who started writing these crazy theologies. Those people called pagans started writing these theologies well before any of the Jews ever started writing anything. The horrible thing is, they all basically say the same kind of junk. They all suggest that we need a savior. I'm simply saying that we don't need anyone to save us from our father. He's good. He didn't create a world in which man messed it up and, and then God had to react to our mess ups. That's not what he created. He created a place in which imperfection was just part of the process. Because imperfection is, is part of the process of growing. In reality, death will happen. And there's a form of a grave that's waiting for you. And you have a limited amount of time here on earth. And that should motivate you right now to grow up and start thinking. You know, some people that live as if, oh, I, I'm not happy here, I'm homesick for heaven and all that. You need to quit getting distracted with heaven and start living right now. Your children need you. Your children need you to work and work and work and work and love and love and love. They need your kindness. They need everything right now, not later on. They don't need someone so caught up in the spirit that is worth nothing on this earth. Please, let's come back to our senses and quit playing mythology. Love doesn't like distance. It doesn't say atheists need to be over there and theists need to be over here. Love doesn't say I need to be separated. We need to have separate quarters in a sense. That is, as human beings. But love says about humanity, it says, all human beings need to be together. We need to be as one. I want atheists to come my way so that I can give them an ear. They deserve to speak. They deserve to be listened to. They deserve my love. They deserve my protection. They deserve my support. They deserve everything that I can give them in a wonderful context.